Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. In this video, we'll look into how to use local Mosquito MQTT broker and send and receive the messages using Node-RED. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. There are two prerequisites for this tutorial. The first one you need is to install Mosquito MQTT broker. If you haven't installed it yet, you can click on the top right corner to watch it now. Later, you need Node-RED. We have already created a video on that. So again, you can click on the top right corner to watch that video. Once you are ready, we can open Node-RED in command prompt. So I'll open the command prompt and type node-red. So it will take some seconds and immediately show us the link. So you can click on this link and it will open the node red flow. So another thing that you need to open is command prompt and go to C program files and mosquito. So first what we can do is open this node red and go to MQTT. So you can click on MQTT in which means that you are going to receive the messages using this. So we are going to subscribe to some messages and to show the messages here, you need to use the debug node and connect this. So in the MQTT, double click on this. So you need to first create a server because we are using a local host server that is Mosquito Broker, we can simply type local host. And everything will be as it is because we are using 183 port and 3.1.1 and click on save. So you need to present what is the topic that we are going to use. So we will use node-red slash mqtt. So node-red slash mqtt is the topic that we are going to use and quality of service can be anything. Uh, so that doesn't matter here because we are using the local host. So click on done. Once you have done that, click on deploy. So click on this debug window to see the messages. So now what we can do is open one of the command prompt and in this command prompt, I'll be using mosquito pub. So I'll use mosquito underscore pub and I'll give the topic as hyphen t and I'll give the topic node red slash mqtt and host is local host. And with hyphen M, the value should be provided. Uh, so I'll be providing as temperature 35, 36 degrees. So immediately you can see the message I am sending from the MQTT Mosquito pub. This is the client of Mosquito and I'm publishing it and subscribing in the node red. I'm getting the values here. So I can try one more. So if I send humidity as 40, that is also going to come here. Now let's see another way. Let's try to delete this and try to use MQTT out. Now we need to send some messages. So I'll use inject and click on connection. So we'll be connecting his and after this connection, I need to go to MQTT and select the same server that we have used and use the node red topic that is noted slash mqtt and the quality of service as zero and retain as false and click on done. Now here also timestamp I will be using first and click on deploy. Now what I can do is instead of pub I will use sub. So mosquito sub which is going to subscribe and I don't have to use the hyphen m. So I will click on this because I have previously used a retain flag that's why I can see humidity 40 is coming. Now if I send a message I should be able to receive the message that is a timestamp here. So instead of timestamp I will again try to change this to a string. So I'll use test message from node red. So I'll use repeat 
with the interval of 3 seconds and click on done. So now I will try to save this. So what I can do is I can publish this. The same way you can also change the string to a number and send some number like this and click on done deploy. So you can see that number every three seconds. So this is how you can send and receive messages between Node-RED and the Mosquito MQTT clients with the local Mosquito broker. That's all for today's video. I hope this video is informative and if yes, please type helpful in the comment section below. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.